I just watched a podcast with George Jenko and Andrew Tate. This podcast made my respect for George Jenko go way up. I was like, holy shit. The amount of knowledge George Jenko has, the amount of knowledge that Andrew Tate was learning from George Jenko, it blew my mind. It was like, whoa. George Jenko even goes at one point, yo, I'm not trying to suck your dick, man. I, I ain't one of those, man. Listen, I'm, I'm even arguing with you. It blew my mind. I was like, oh, shit. Isn't this the guy that uh, Logan Paul was clowning earlier? Is, wasn't that the guy that they were laughing at? And it made the respect go downwards. But when you see him talking to Andrew Tate, you're like, George. Andrew Tate just put George Jenko on the map. I, I wouldn't doubt if uh, George Jenko's viewership goes up drastically after this. I think this was a well-played chess move from Andrew Tate. And I'll tell y'all why. If y'all don't remember in further back episodes where Logan Paul was downing Andrew Tate. If y'all don't remember where Logan Paul was downing Andrew Tate. And trying to ruin Andrew Tate's career. Because Andrew Tate's like, yo, Logan Paul, you a fucking puppet. You know you fucking suck my dick. You know you love me. But y'all don't remember when Andrew Tate was like, yo, hell nah. You ain't fucking disrespecting me when you, you know you love what I do. You're just a puppet trying to stay mainstream. And then George Jenko was Impulsive's co-host, the third co-host. And he tried to ruin two of these boys' reputation. And so Andrew Tate did a chess move with all his celebrity and fame. He's like, you're trying to down me. You're trying to down George Jenko. I'm going to collab with George Jenko and push him up. Because... This is this is this was Andrew Tate's well-planned uh, chess move, getting with one of uh, Logan Paul's rivals. This was a well-played chess move, and I just I just look at it as wow, Andrew Tate's really him. Andrew Tate's really playing chess. You can't, and that George, George Jenko even says you can't stop the plans God has. He's like, he's like, faith of a mustard seed. All you need is a faith of a mustard seed and God will move mountains. That's what he said. It fucking blew my mind. This is one of the best podcasts I have ever seen in a, in a long time. Whether it was Joe Rogan's podcast, whether it was... Uh, Impulsive is a clown now after seeing that they lost a really good co-host. I look at Impulsive is a clown, not Georgenko. The, the, you guys have to stop fucking idling these fucking Logan, I have to stop swearing, Logan Paul, whatever. I think I usually swear if I'm positive. I'm, I'm going to stop swearing. Because I know YouTube gives more views if you guys like the video or if you guys, uh, or if you don't swear. Uh, I think that the fact that people idol these people and just take their word and they're, they they buy into these crypto scams and this and that and oh buy this nft a lot everyone knows logan paul is a scam artist but still he's mainstream because why because god is the one who gives you the throne not oh, you can do the worst things but god will still give you the throne if you have a faith of a mustard seed and the the things that George Jenko and Andrew said in this podcast, it 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 could really it could really change people's perspectives. So I look forward to see more of George Jenko's podcast after this. I'm tuning into him. I believe he is on the up and up, and this will only bring him to new levels. So. Don't fear anybody talking shit on your name. Fear those who have God on their team. Because with God, in the Bible it says, you'll have an army of a thousand men. Fear those who walk with God. Don't fear those who 
don't fear don't fear anybody man only fear the man who has god on his team because with god you have a team of a thousand men you don't need this person you don't need that person you just need god and you'll fucking win you know what i mean you don't need anybody you don't need anybody's help you just need god and you'll fucking win that's all y'all need that's all y'all need So, I'll tell you how it is, man. A lot of people, they don't want you to succeed. They don't. They look at you as, why would I help him get somewhere? Fuck getting handouts. The only handout you need is from God. God will put you on the fucking map. All you need is, oh, God, how do I get so-and-so? God will... He'll give you the whispers. They're called hunches. You listen to these hunches and you act on these hunches. Faith is belief with action. You act on these hunches. God will put you in front of kings, of, amongst kings. But in order to receive these hunches, you have to meditate. A lot of people want to get somewhere, but they're not meditating. Praying is asking God for what you want. Meditating is listening to the hunches so that way God can speak to you and when you act on these hunches it'll change your life listen I used to do these podcasts to be entertaining after what I seen George Jenko and Andrew Tate after what I seen Andrew Tate said listen I don't do this to be entertaining I do this to fucking change the minds of the youths to to give great knowledge it's now changing my perspective and putting me on a greater path and I respect him for doing that. But will I continue being entertaining? Yes, of course. I believe entertainment is one of the best ways to have people receive your knowledge. Without entertainment, they'll just click off. Will I still be, be funny? Yes, of course. I believe funny and laughter is the best form of method to cure your pain, to make people feel better. To, with that, let's say someone was to die here. Would I cry? Yes, in private. But would I laugh? Yeah. What? I'm gonna be sad my whole life just because someone died? Like, what the hell? Laughter is the best form of medicine. That's why when someone uh, says, "Oh, stop with the dark humor," I seen a guy with Alzheimer's, and he said, "Oh, please do me an Alzheimer's joke. I want to forget about my pain." I said, "Bitch, you have Alzheimer's. You are forgetting." <laughs> 